morning. My name is Brenda Whitebull. My Lakota name is Wunchalangwi, compassionate woman. I am the great great granddaughter of Sitting Bull, great granddaughter of Chief White Bull and Moving Room Woman, all combatants of the Battle of Little Bighorn. I come from a long line of warriors we call Zuye Wichasha, Akichita. I served 20 years in the Marine Corps with honor, courage, and commitment. My oath of enlistment does not expire as I now defend the sacred waters and the homelands of Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. We have never consulted and never gave our consent to the Dakota Access Pipeline to come through the unceded territory of the Fort Laramie Treaties. We, the Great Sioux Nation, have never broken a treaty, but the U.S. government has done so by allowing this black snake in which we call the Dakota Access Pipeline to plow through our lands. They have desecrated the human remains of our ancestors and numerous sacred sites. Standing Rock has brought the world together to show that we are more powerful than their militarized police forces and guns because we are armed with prayer. The water has life. Her spirit about her has called our seventh generation to act on her defense. She is speaking to all of us and she is tired. Mother Earth does not have a human voice, therefore we are her voice. She gives us warning and that is why we are here. We bring our actions, spirit and prayers and hope that the UN puts a stop to the violence on the indigenous peoples. Many women have been violated. One had her arm shot to pieces and another lost vision in one eye. This is the form of how the government treated not only the woman during the Standing Rock defense of the water, but also how it treated our grandmother Earth. We defend Mini Wakchoni, water of life, which is our first medicine. After generations of trauma, our spirit has been awakened. We have to act now. We cannot wait. Stop the violence. Given that the special theme of this session of the UNIT permanent form is the implementation of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. If the states will not implement the declaration, we will do it ourselves. Recommendations that states cease and desist the militarization of indigenous lands, territories, and communities. That the permanent forum initiate a study on violence on any form directed against indigenous peoples. Communities or individuals? Uh, Dr. Thank you. To the three minute time limit at the, the three UN. Minute time limit the recommendations the UN. were not fully recommendations heard. were not fully recommendations. Heard. Recommendations that states cease and desist the militarization of indigenous lands, territories, and communities. That the permanent forum initiate and that the MRIP and Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples be invited to join a study on intimidation, criminalization, and violence of any form directed against indigenous peoples, communities, or individuals particularly those who defend their rights under the Declaration, the defenders of the territorial integrity of Mother Earth, the defenders of sacred water and sacred places, defenders of their lands and territories, their life, ways, and cultures, that the Permanent Forum report on this study annually, that the United Nations, the donor states, and funding agencies, including the World Bank, UNDP, and UNEP, establish effective and good faith mechanisms to ensure the observance of indigenous people's rights under the declaration, particularly the right of the free, prior, and informed consent, and ensure that states are complying with human rights and indigenous rights standards before any assistance, including funding is provided them. That the future work of the permanent forum includes the theme on water, to include its link to the forms of violence to water. Thank you, Dr. Yasin.